What's going on YouTube? This is Mason AJ once again here at Heroes Time 2015. I am here. We have saved the best for last. The truly stupendous, amazing, alluring, efficient. <laughs> efficient. Efficient. Okay. I am competent. Because you have done the one thing which has never ever been done. You've taken storytelling as an art form and transcended it. You have pioneered it into a whole new direction. And for those of you guys who do not know who this is, for some reason you do not know the legend that is sitting next to me, this is Miss Kelly Sue Daconic. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm well, thank you. I can't live up to that. I don't know what to do. I'm like looking for who you're talking about. <laughs> you don't have to live to it. You live it every day through your work. Now, well, I have to ask, just straight off throughout the bat, you have done so much for story time. I, I, here's what I say in my local comic I said Kelly Sue Zaconic is the Odin mother of comics and that words are her Valkyries transcending what we understand as stories into something completely different, take us a whole different plane. Now it seems like I might over reselling this or like that, but if you read Bitch Planet, if you read Pretty Deadly. <laughs> you on stage with me it's gonna be great that it's going down as you, you heard it right here may say jay case is the kind of tag team duo but let me ask you what is your process for creating these outstanding pieces of work um a lot of panicking hugging my knees rocking back and forth <laughs> denial missing deadlines weeping it's really good i've got this down <laughs> um yeah no i mean it's it's uh uh Nuts and bolts wise, um, I, I take notes in a notebook. I sort of am always looking for uh, what I call sweater threads, which are like the, just the very starts of an idea. Um, uh, it's usually something that I have mixed feelings about. I find that, that that's the most fertile ground for fiction. Um, and then uh, and then I make mind maps. Do you know what mind maps are? Um, I make these like weird, crazy person spiral um, note-taking things. Um, I use a program called uh, Nova Pro Mind, but you can do it in a notebook. You don't need a computer to do it. And uh, and then, uh, yeah, and then there's a lot of panicking and stalling and, and uh, uh, freaking out and being convinced I'm a fraud. Uh, that's a big part of my process. Uh, well, no, I have to ask, um, you have started and you've made such ground, such, excuse me, you have broken such ground. How did you originally get started being an amazing writer that you are today? Um, you know, I have a theater degree. I didn't really ever intend to write. Uh, I was an uh, improv comic and, uh, uh, and a stage actor, um, and then I just didn't, um, I don't have the personality for... Uh, <gasps> I find that extremely hard to believe. Here's the thing. Uh, uh, actors on their way up are required to, uh, can I curse? Yes. Okay, eat a lot of shit. Okay. Uh, uh, and I am not uh, uh, built for that. Uh, so um, I didn't I didn't want it bad enough. Basically. So, so basically you're saying I'm, you, you are such a badass that literally everything else was beneath you. So you had to be, you, you didn't rise from the top, you went straight to the top. Okay, like a rocket. Now, oh, whoa, yeah. well, okay. Now, I gotta ask you this though. Amer to me, in my personal opinion, Pretty Deadly is American lore, okay? It's, and you have taken something that we've already established in our mind and twisted it into something even more fantastic. How do you feel personally about really modifying what, because what, people would say comic books are American lore, but now you've taken it in such a different direction. How do you feel about being the translator for this new statement? Oh, oh, oh wow. Uh, uh, I feel incredibly lucky to have been a part of Pretty Deadly. Um, uh, Emma Rios uh, is my partner and co-creator on that book, and uh, she's goddamn genius. And, um, you know, that, that book, writing that book is really hard. That book sort of fights back, and um, uh, it, it, it always feels like... Um, like discovering the story instead of creating the story. You just sort of have to keep trying things that are like, yo, oh, that's not right, that's not it, that's not it. Oh, that's it, you know? Um, uh, but I, I I love the book. I'm very proud of the book. Um, the book just won a, a bronze medal from uh, Japan. What? See, even the people from across the seas recognize the badass that you are, okay? Like, really, really badass. You think it's, it's, it's Kelly Sue, badass, iconic. I'm Done. Take that. I'm take that. Done. Now, one of my other favorite characters, which you've, you've also just transcended, is Carol Davis in Captain Marvel. 
And you have, once again, I know I, I'm, I keep hyping you up like, like it's not believable, but you have to read these books, okay? You know what the aficionados, if you watch the show, that we are all about supporting the craft, okay? So you have to find these books and buy them. Spend your hard on money. If you ever see Kelly DeConnick in person, just throw your money at her. Just throw it. Just go ahead. Just whip out your wallet and go here. Just take it. But with Carol Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, you have transcended this character. You take a character with so much history, so much more, so much backstory, and you turn her into something better. Like, it's just, it is just better. If you read any character before you, it was one thing. But now it's like, is do it you went from a Honda Civic to a Lamborghini. Like just it was just all like that. There was no in between. It was just like, oh I'm driving a Honda Civic, gets me to work. Lamborghini, I'm styling, filing, blazing down the road. How did you accomplish such a feat? I know I, I know it's a process. It's a process. I understand. But you gotta understand, this is legendary, okay? You are a walking, talking legend, okay? And I have to say, what well, Carol Daniel was supposed to be doing, you took a character, I know I'm going on a lot here, you took a character that was just really a strong archetype, and you transformed her into a true beacon, not only of feminality, but what it meant to be a strong person. She's no longer a character that I'm watching in a comic book. She's a person whose drama or whose life I'm watching unfold before me. Wow, thank you. Um... Uh, you know, I mean, she's she's been pretty great for a long time. Um, uh, I, I loved Jerry Conway on her, Claremont, Bendis, Reed, uh, all did great work. Um, I, uh, uh, I, you know, my pitch was was Carol Danvers as Chuck Yeager, um, and I think that was that's always been the key to how I write her is this sort of. A, you know, she's a type A personality, she's an adrenaline junkie, she's got some swagger. Um, uh, and so, so pretty much, she's she's kind of, she, she, she take, obviously takes out the Mason AJ himself. She can, Obviously, while I'm watching her life, she saw my life, and she's like, you know what, I want to be something like that. That's it, that's it, yeah, yeah. You guys, once again, you heard it straight from here, she agreed with me. Okay, I'm not making that up, it happened. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Carol, uh, she makes mistakes too, like Car Carol, Carol has a tendency to hit first and ask questions later. Which I am totally down with. Yeah, but the, the, the cool thing about her, the thing that um, that I admire most is um, she's not afraid to learn, but she's not afraid to be wrong. Um, and that is tremendous. Uh, and that's probably more heroic trait um, uh, th than any other I could aspire to. Okay. Well, last question, because once again, we are here at Heroes Con 2015, and there's only so much time we have allowed for all the young, aspiring writers, for all the people who want to break into the comic industry, who want to follow in your footsteps of greatness, what advice would you give out there to anyone who wants to come into this world? Uh, uh, well, don't aspire to greatness, because that will be paralyzing. Uh, you'll never get anything done. Uh, uh, just try to make comics, and the thing uh, is probably the best advice I could give is to start. Um, uh, because here's the thing, uh, every idea is perfect in your head, and then when you finally get it down on paper, you see all the flaws and all the problems. But I would much rather die with an imperfect book than with a perfect idea. Because if you have an imperfect book, you died a writer. If you have a, a perfect idea, you're just a dreamer. Done. It's done. I can't, I can't even say anything. Once again, this is Mason AJ here at Heroes Con 2015. You guys need to come to these conventions, support the crowd, buy her books, obviously, and make sure that whatever you do, support these conventions. And I have to say this because hey, without these conventions, I would never get to meet the legend, the status, the hero that is Carol Sue Deconic. I am so grateful to Heroes Con for inviting the aficionados, and I, as a comic book aficionado, am grateful to you for providing me with work that really makes me glad to be a comic book reader. Like that. This is Mason AJ with Kelly Sue DeConnick. Here at Heroes Con. Tune in next time.